So all vectors can be broken down into their component vectors, their constituents. For example, if we have the following vector that lies in our three-dimensional plane, we can break it down into three one-dimensional component vectors vx which lies along the x-axis, vy which lies along the y-axis, and vz which lies along the z-axis coming out of the board. Now we can use something known as unit vectors to represent these component vectors. Unit vectors are defined to have a magnitude of one and are perpendicular to one another. So if we're looking at our three-dimensional plane, our x, y, z axis, each one of these axes has its own unit vector. So we have the i hat unit vector which points along the x axis, the j hat which points along the y axis, and the k hat which points along the z axis. Now the hat symbol the hat symbol simply means that we're dealing with unit vectors. So once again, unit vectors have a magnitude of 1, so i magnitude, j magnitude, and k magnitude all equals 1 and I is perpendicular to both J and K, J is perpendicular to both I and K, and K is perpendicular to both I and J. And that's simply because our X, Y, and Z axes are all perpendicular to one another. So, let's look at the following diagram. Let's suppose we have a two-dimensional vector V, which begins at the origin and ends at the point 2, 3. So our X coordinate is 2, and our Y coordinate is 3. Now, we want to figure out how we can symbolize or represent our vector V using their component vectors, its component vectors. So, first we have to figure out what the magnitude of our Vx and Vy is because this is a two-dimensional plane. We can break this down into two component vectors. So we have the Vx which points along the x-axis and Vy which points along the y-axis. So the magnitude of Vx is simply 1, 2. Where does this vector end along the x-axis? Well, it ends at the point 2. What about our height? How high along the y-axis does our vector go? Well, 1, 2, 3. So that means our magnitude of Vx is 2 and our magnitude of Vy is 3. What about our directions? Both of these, Vx and Vy, have directions. Well, that's exactly where our unit vectors come into play. The way that we represent this vector using unit vectors and component vectors is in the following way. Our vector is equal to, so we have our Vx component, which points along our i direction along the x-axis, plus our Vy vector, the magnitude, which points along the j direction along the y-axis. So we have the magnitude and direction and magnitude and direction. So we just said that our magnitude of Vx is 2 and the magnitude of Vy is 3. So our vector with a magnitude of 2 points along the x-axis because i represents the x-axis and j represents the y-axis. So our vector that has the magnitude of 3 that points along the y direction is given by 3 multiplied by j hat. So let's look at the following example. Let's suppose we have two vectors in our three-dimensional plane. So we have the Vx component, the Vy component, and the Vz component. We want to figure out what the resultant vector is when we add up these two vectors, D, uh, D1 and D2. Well, one simple, easy way that we can use this notation to add up our vectors is simply add up all the Vx components, add up all the Vy components, and add up all the Vz components. So, we have 5 plus minus 2, so we have 5 minus 2, which is simply 3, 
and we leave our i hat because both of these vectors point along our x direction. What about our 6 plus 12? So 6 plus 12 is 18, so that means our component vector along the j direction, along our y direction, is 18. And finally, we get negative 7 plus 1, so negative 6. So the negative simply means we're pointing downward along the k-axis, along the z-axis. So that means our final vector can be given by the following resultant vector. So our d resultant is equal to the following components. We have our vx component that points along the i direction. We have the uh, vy component that points along the j direction. And finally, our um, vz that points along the k direction. Now, to find our magnitude, we simply use our formula. The formula is given by taking the radical of our vx squared plus vz squared plus, or vz squared plus vy squared. So, our vx squared is 3 squared, our vy squared is 18 squared, and our vz squared is negative 6 squared. So, we get approximately 19.2 is our magnitude. So once again, the entire point of using unit vectors is to represent our component vectors of our original vector. So if we're dealing with a three-dimensional plane, each component vector will have a corresponding unit vector.